Hi everyone, it's Megalomania here. Um, a couple of weeks back I saw a wonderful review on a product that will help drag queens to get their makeup off and I thought I've got to have that so I gave it a go, I bought it. I've tried it out already um, and it's fantastic and I'm about to take my face off now and um, I'm going to film it so you guys can see it. So stay tuned and I'll just take all my stuff off and um, I'll come back. See you soon. Hi guys, I'm back. So I've um, I've taken off my earrings and my wig and my dress and everything and my lashes and I'm now ready to start taking my face off now. Um, the product that I'm about to review for you, well, just I'm going to use it and just show you what I do. So uh, it's called the Makeup Eraser. So um, it comes in this, this packaging, it's sort of, you can sort of see it, it's shaped like an old school eraser from, from your school days. And um, I'll open her up for you. Now, I have actually used this. I made a video on Friday night when I was taking my face off. Um, but I stuffed up, the camera was the wrong way around. Um, and I hadn't actually washed the cloth by that stage too. And it does say you're supposed to do that. And it did make a difference. So yeah, so it uh, comes with the instructions. And it's just a, a microfiber cloth. There you go, two sides. You can see this side's actually been used. Um, the short side is for taking your makeup off first, and the second side, which is a longer nap or longer fibre, is apparently for exfoliating. Um, and that one has the tag on it. So, just for, for reference, tag means shag. Cool. Right, so apparently, what you do is you just use hot water or lukewarm water and no product. Um, my main concern was um, I've been now, just lately, I've been using uh, glue stick to glue my eyebrows down as opposed to using the wax or, or those sorts of things. Um, the wax, I find you have to use a lot of product to get rid of the wax, like baby wipes, or ba I've tried baby oil, I've tried sweet almond oil, I've tried olive oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, um, all of these different oils I've tried, um, just like co cold creams, all these sorts of things, but my skin is extremely oily to begin with. Add on the makeup that I put on, and then the oil to remove all of the makeup, and then my skin for days and days and days afterwards absolutely hates me. So I decided to give the glue stick a go, and that's actually been a lot easier to get off. I've just been using baby wipes, and they're softer, they're easier on my face, but I want to try something which has absolutely no product whatsoever. So this has turned out to be absolutely fantastic. So I'm about to wet it now and show you just how easily it does actually take all of your makeup off. So bear with me. Um, it's probably going to be about four or five minutes, but you'll be surprised. So let's see. I'm just going to... I've got a bucket of water down here because I'm in my bedroom. Um, and I don't have taps in here, contrary to popular belief. Bear with me. Okay, so it's quite wet. I haven't actually wrung it all the way out, and I think that does actually say that here. Um, drenched wet. Use warm water. So, have a look there. Hopefully you can see that, and it's not going to be... Turn around. Okay, so here we go. A short side. I'll start with this eye. And just, you know, you rub, as you normally do, but it's a very soft, terry-toweling cloth. As you can see, that's coming off so easily. Now, for the black on my eyes, this part here, this is all done with uh, a gel liner. And it takes forever to get off. So you can sort of see it's taking a little bit there. And... That's pretty good already, but I mean, look at these eyebrows. Now, I do not know how it's going to go if you were to use the wax or the uh, the Mayron wax, those sorts of things. Um, but I like to use the glue stick at the moment, and that uh, seems to be a popular choice for all the queens over in America as well. So this would be really popular over there. Um, it's available online at the Makeup Eraser dot com I think it is yep 
makeuperaser.com. I think it was around about 20 US dollars, and I think a little bit for postage as well. And they were very, very quick in delivering. Um, so you can see how quick this is taking it off. And of course, you know, I mean, most of the time when you get back from the club, you know, you've had more than your fair share of drinks. And this is the worst part of the night for me. I absolutely loathe taking all my makeup off because it's just, I love putting it on, I love going out in it, and at the end it's taking it all off and it's just, ugh. There's a little stubborn part there for some reason. There it is, just took it off with my nail. Alright, I'll just rinse this out. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, I'm taking it on the forehead. And that has... The sides have got spirit gum, so let's see how it goes on that. You don't need to use any alcohols or anything like that to remove any spirit gum. Well, I don't anyway. I'm, I can't vouch for everyone, I suppose. Everything, everyone's uh, got to be different. So those eyes are mostly gone. Now, this is Lime Crime Velveteens. This is in Pansy, so um, we'll soon see if that takes it off. Because these can stain, can take ages to rub and rub and rub, get them off. Now, yeah, I said earlier that um, when I did my first video, I hadn't actually washed the product first, and it does say to do that. Um, the main problem I found is that obviously when they cut. The, the piece of fabric out and then they hem it there's a lot of tiny little fibers left over from the cutting process that they obviously haven't washed it afterwards and they want you to do that because if you're about to put it all over your face those little fibers can and they do get everywhere I had them in my eyes and all over my face and, and I mean as much as you can shave a really good close shave you don't always get every little piece of stubble so I had little pink fluff everywhere. I'm still getting a little bit of clown mouth but I'll to wash it out. So yeah so I've given it a wash and um, I mean it still stains uh, there's still makeup on there but I just washed it as per directions which was in cold water um, I didn't use any stain remover or anything like that, so I can just imagine if you were to use like a laundry soap bar or maybe nappy sand or something, maybe that might take it out. I do not know. Um, might have to check it out online to see if that's something you can do. Mm, it's still staining a little bit, but you know, that's... That's underneath the makeup, that's going to be there for a day, maybe. I'm public with that. <laughs> Things we do. So not bad. Um, it's been around about eight minutes now, and the face is pretty much mostly all off. Um, you know, I think I might need to still wash my face with a cleanser, but um, it's taken most of the makeup off. Um, I might have to try and get some to get that off, but for the most part, you'll see that um, it has taken most of the drag makeup off. Um, now of course, you know, the, the drag queen makeup we use is mostly like Kryolan and those sorts of heavy duty theatre makeups, so um, it's it's quite good at removing all of that. I'm just going to use the exfoliating side now to see if I can get that lip off. Mm. 
I'm getting there. Well, I think I'm pretty much all, all done there. All right, so um, so I would definitely recommend it if you are uh, one to use the the glue sticks in your eyebrows. Um, it works perfectly for that. Um, still getting some fibres, but um, if you were to say, for example, if you perform like or go out every night, like three four nights in a row sort of thing, you'd probably have to give it a wash in between, or even a quick hand wash that sort of thing. Otherwise, it'd probably just build up and you'd be rubbing it all over again. So, so yeah, um, uh, I would say it's a definite go for me, um, but um, make your own mind up. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Ta-da! Bye!